Welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is our narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today is a part three of the video. In today's video, we'll talk about ACU, Auxiliary Control Unit. In today's video, we'll see that what is the purpose of ACU and how the ACU is controlling the auxiliary blower and the hydraulic loop system of the ME engine. After that, we will see about the MOP, main operating panel. What is the purpose of main operating panel and how the MOP look like. So friend, this is a part 3 of a ME engine series. In today's video, we will learn about two things. The first thing is the MOP and the second thing is the ACU. So as you know, in my earlier video, I explained about the EICU, A, EICU, B, ECU and CCU. Now in today's video, we will explain MOP and ACU. Now if you want to watch the old video, you can find it in a description box. So let's start today's video of a ACU. So before talking about auxiliary control unit, first we need to understand how this hydraulic loop work. So let us see. So from the main loop oil pump, the pressure is developed around 2 to 4 bar and that pressure is coming here. A part of it is going for a piston cooling and bearing lubrication. That is a common thing. A part of oil is coming here and it is going to the auto backwash filter having filtration unit around 50 micron filtration. It means the oil which is used for the piston cooling and the bearing lubrications that oil is again filtered so that to make sure that it does not have any particles any abrasive particle and the filter which is filtering is of 50 micro filter. Now after filtration the oil is passed and it is pumped by two mean if the engine in stop condition, we will use the electrical driven mean and the electrical hydraulic pump will pump the oil and if the engine is running then in that case we will use the engine driven mean to pump the oil. Now the oil is pumped around 200 bar. So to 300 bar. So what is happening? The oil is coming around 2 to 4 bar. After passing through the auto backwash filter, it is pumped either by the means of electrical or the engine driven depending whether the engine is running on stop to pressure around 200 to 300 bar. Here you can find it is written 200 bar because that is a old concept. But in new air engine, you can find it is around compressed around 300 bar. Now this pressure of compression depends upon the engine load and engine speed. So after the oil is been compressed that is going to a valve block and after going to a valve block it is been controlled by CCU. Now this CCU will control the flow of a hydraulic oil through FIVA valve which is getting a signal from the ECU. So now this is how the hydraulic loop work like. After performing the valve actuation and the fuel injection, the oil is getting drained from each unit and after that it is returning back to the system. So it is forming a closed loop system. So what is happening once again in a synopsis, the form loop valve pump is coming, it is getting filtered by auto backwash filter. After that by a hydraulic pump it is getting pressurized around 200 bar. After that it is going to the valve block assembly. From there the SCU unit is getting activated by the CCU depending upon the signal received from the ECU and after it is doing the fuel injection and valve actuation the oil is returning back to the system. So this is how the hydraulic loop work like. Now try to understand about the auxiliary control unit. Now this auxiliary control unit function is what? This auxiliary control unit normally is 3 in number if in some case you can also find 2 in number depending upon the number of auxiliary blower you have. Now suppose you have 5 auxiliary blower okay. 
Now suppose you have five auxiliary blower and five pump. It means that if you have five pump and you have five auxiliary blower, in that case ACU one, ACU two, and ACU three, each one will control individual blower. ACU one will control auxiliary blower one. Auxiliary blower two will be controlled by ACU two, and auxiliary blower three will control the auxiliary three. Now, after this, in some cases, what will happen? The other blower may be controlled by AU one or AU two. But in case of pump, now suppose you have five electrical driven pump. In that case, what will happen? The three pump will be controlled by ACU one, ACU two, or ACU three, but the other pump, four and five, will be controlled by ECU A and ECU B. Okay. One more time, I will tell you. Normally, the aux auxiliary control unit are two or three in number. Normally, you will find there is two auxiliary blower. Now, suppose if you have five auxiliary blower, which in, in maximum case not a possible scenario, but if you have, then what will It will look like that ACU one will control auxiliary blower one, auxiliary blower two will control the ACU two, ACU three will control the auxiliary blower three. Now the remaining two will be controlled by ACU one or ACU two. Now, but in case of a pump, in case of a electrical driven pump, the three pump will be controlled by individually ACU one, two, and three, but the remaining two pump will be controlled by ECU. A and E C U B. Now, why I am telling about this pump? What do you mean by motor-driven pump? This motor-driven pump, this motor-driven pump is very important because it will look like this. Now here you can see this is a three engine-driven pump and this is a two electrical-driven pump. Now suppose if you have five electrical-driven pump. In that case, what will happen? ACU A and ACU B and ACU C will control the first three pump. The remaining two pump will be controlled by ECU A and ECU B. Now, this ECU A and ECU B, which is controlling these two pump, these two pump will move only in a head direction. So that is a very important part. So the first thing is that if it is controlled by ECU, in that case, it will only move. In a head direction or astern direction, it means that there will be no such movement as proportionate control, as in a case of other electrical driven pump. So, what is happening here that this electrical driven pump, which is helping, why this electrical driven pump is provided? This electrical driven pump is provided in this hydraulic unit is because now when the engine is in stop condition, when the RPM is zero, so in that case there is no hydraulic pressure. So this electrical driven pump using the electrical energy from the generator to develop the pressure. That pressure is helping to operate this valve actuator and helping to start the engine. As the engine is started and it has run certain RPM, it will be overtaken by this engine-driven pump. And when it is overtaken by this engine-driven pump, this pump will stop. So this is how the electrical-driven pump work. Now the pressure which is developed in this hydraulic block is not that okay. This pump is running and it will develop directly 200 bar. No. Depending upon the RPM, it will build up the pressure as per the load. Starting suppose it will develop 100 bar. After that, when the RPM increases 120 bar, like that, ramping up of the hydraulic pressure depending upon the engine load. That is a very important thing you need to understand. So now, in auto mode, this pump or blower will only start in auto mode when. It will start when we have starting the prep start mode. It means that the blower will start only when the engine is on the prep started mode, and it will cut in and cut off depending upon the scavenge pressure. It will cut up around 
0.7 bar and it will be cutting around 0.4 bar with a delay of continue running of a 15 minute. In manual mode, we can control it by 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now, let's see this arrangement. Now, as I have told you that normally this hydraulic loop is passing through this auto backwash filter. Now, in for emergency purpose, we have a redundancy filter which is of around 6 micron. Okay. So, one thing is that, that this filter which is filtering, it is filtering up to 6 micron and the redundancy filter which is provided is filtering up to 50 or in some case 25 micron. So what is happening that the lube oil filter which is going when it is passing this filter at the installation have a 10 micron but now with the advancement in technology now it is filtering up to 6 micron. So when the oil is coming from here it is filtering up to 6 micron and that 6 micron filtration after it is going for a hydraulic pressure development. A redundancy filter is provided which will be put in use when the auto backwash filter will get choked. In that case that filter will have a filtration of 50 micron or 25 micron depending upon your engine specification. But this thing of 50 or 25 should not be put for a long time of uses. This should be only put in the use when in a case of an emergency and it should be clean as soon as possible. So this is how this ACU work. Now let's do the MOP main operating panel. Now the main operating panel looks like this. This is the main operating panel. Normally you will find this type of screen either two in number or one here and one in the desktop. So basically this what is the MOP? This MOP is the human interface of a ME engine. It is basically a operating panel is a human interface which help us to interact with the intelligent engine. If suppose if you want to change any parameter or if you want to see the parameter this MOP will help us to see. It help us to do the troubleshooting and it will help us to see any warning alarm and it will help us to see any problem so that we can rectify before it become a bigger problem. So if anybody tell you what is a MOP, a MOP is a human interface with the intelligent engine which help us to see what are the parameters with which the engine is running. It will give us a platform through which we can do a troubleshooting. It give us any warning in advance so that we can do a troubleshooting. So these are the purpose of MOP. Now the MOP basically looks like this. In the top you will find which page you are opening here. Here you will find the date and here you will find the timing. This timing when you can choose whether UTC or local time. After that here is the task bar like means which part you want to go. You want to go alarm, you want to go engine. Now we are in engine and in engine these things are there. Operation, status, process, process, adjustment, chief limiter and in auxiliary there are some component. So these are the task bar and here is the mode which you can select. You can select prepare start mode, you can select slow turn, you can select auto mode, you can select air run mode. Now this is the screen which is right now of engine operation. So here there are two color. If you are seeing the color in deep blue, it means that it is showing the actual value and it is fluctuating in nature. If it is faded, in that case it is a set value and it cannot be changed. So here you can see this is the value which is coming up depending upon the engine is running and this is like you can see hydraulic air pressure 186 bar is scavenge pressure 0.67 bar inlet oil which is coming from the lube oil is 2.7 bar starting air pressure is this HPS is in auto mode lubricated is running and blower is in auto but in now stop position and here the limiter is 
the engine limit is 110 and it's down now running here so depending upon this it will so like this so friend this is how the mop looks like so if anybody tell you what is the mop you can say like this so friend if you have learned something in this video then please do hit the like button and please don't forget to share and subscribe friend we are making this video with a lot of effort with a lot of data collection only for you this type of video if you go in the institution for training they will charge you a hefty amount but i am providing it in a free just only one thing i need from you is that please hit the subscription button and please share the channel the only thing i need from you guys is to please share the channel so that i want the other personnel also to know about this platform so that we can grow together thank you friend have a good day